Hey YouTube, just wanted to come back and share something real quick and then I will probably see you guys tomorrow to do our DIY, but I wanted to share this. I have always enjoyed watching YouTube and my favorite YouTubers, all of them like Platinum, um, there's a girl named April, you know who you are, you make some pretty good videos too. Um, I like uh, Lyric Rochester, the Jamaican makeup artist. I've liked pretty like a lot of you YouTubers for a long time. But I was saying this, and I I'm sharing this with people, and I hope everyone hears this, sees this, or whatever, and appreciates it. I'm grateful, and I've heard a lot of people on YouTube say this over time. And now I see how God opens doors when you say you want to share your gifts, your talents with others. Um, God opens doors when you decide to share the gifts he's bestowed on you. And you don't have to go out your way to get the things that God gives you because he wants you to share them. And I was going to say how people should be grateful for the things they have already. Like if you have seen YouTubers and you see them and they have all these big brands of makeup or all this expensive hair or they're sharing vacations and traveling or money saving or weight loss things and I'm saying you need to learn how to be grateful for the things you already have. Gratitude goes a long way. I don't know about anybody else and I'm going to say and I pray that no one receives this in a bad way. But I believe in God, and I know that God provides all of my needs according to the, His riches and glory. So, I'm grateful for the things I have, i.e., I like makeup. I've always liked makeup. I think I was like 14, 15 when my mom let me first start wearing makeup, and I have literally started from the bottom like I remember when they used to have um like it was like a jelly lip gloss in the little tube and that's all I was allowed to wear I had every color of that Moog stuff that you could imagine I had got so good that I would put it on my eyelids and it would tend my eyelids yes that's how long I've loved makeup and a lot of my makeup has been given to me by people friends family my hair clients, um, just any and everybody, and I've always been grateful, and then I decided that I was going to start my YouTube channel, and God opened doors for me. I have always wanted a BH Cosmetic palette, and I went to Target this after I put up my first video, and I hadn't put up any other videos in a while, and... I went to Target and they had a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow palette. And I was like, hold on. Okay. And it was $13. Shut the front door. I thought this stuff was like $60, $70, $80. I had never even looked up the price because I'm a mother of four. So, like, Wet n Wild, Elf, that had been, you know, LA Colors. That had been all I could afford. I remember when LA Girl Concealer was only $1.99 and now they asked for four $5. For the same product. And I understand they grew. And yeah they should rightfully so. Get more money for their product. I remember when. You could buy hair. For $10 a pack. Or it was $1.99 for braiding hair. Or a dollar for braiding hair. They no longer have that. Because people have used it. And shown that we actually can do a lot with it. But I'm just saying all of this to say. That I'm grateful for everything I have. You cannot ask God for more than what you already have if you're not taking care of what you have i.e. if you have a car <coughs> and it's not your dream car how are you treating the car you are driving right now are you getting the oil changes are you getting your tune-ups have you had your tires rotated are you getting your brakes replaced do you make sure your kids are not slamming the doors are you eating in the car and you know you shouldn't do that because it's going to mess up the inside of the car are you slamming your trunk so now it won't open and close properly all these things are things that you have to think about when you're asking God for something bigger or better. I have a tiny home. I am grateful to have a tiny home. I am not one of those people who wanted a big home. I wanted a tiny home because I feel like if you're organized, you could have enough space anywhere. 
So I'm grateful for my tiny home. So do I treat my tiny home well? I make sure I clean it. I make sure I, I show my home I love it. I, I'm, I'm showing God that I love it by cleaning it and keeping it clean and making sure the things that need to be repaired are getting repaired. I may not be able to do everything at once, but as I get it, I do it. I'm saying all this to, to you guys on YouTube and sharing it because I know that I have watched YouTube videos for like the longest time. I have been watching YouTube videos since the 90s. So that tells you I'm I, I'm a pretty big YouTube head. I remember when um, MySpace and um, there used to be a website called Downy Link that was for um, people with alternative lifestyles. I remember when they were all, I remember when Live Links was out. Uh, the only way you could meet new people uh, before all these dating websites and I'm saying to you that are you grateful for what you have if you're in a relationship are you treating the person you're with like you're grateful to have them because it's so easy to catch somebody new hard to keep the person you're with and if you already built a foundation it's easier to fix the little things in your relationship, like financial issues, those are not real issues. Finances come and go. If you're having intimacy issues, you know, health issues cause these problems. If you have an issue with the way somebody looks because they've changed over time, these things can change over time. I know I've come on these videos and I haven't been done up. And I do this on purpose because I feel like... Everybody shows their best face on YouTube. Every single body. I've seen all these YouTubers and they always look like Barbie dolls. And I love that. But at the same time, are they they're real people too? And I have a lot of respect for a lot of YouTubers. I've met quite a few um, just like indiscreetly, off to the side, whatever. And what I've learned is, is that they are really some nice people on YouTube they're very humble and kind people and I don't want to start off my YouTube channel with always being done up because I want you to get to know me so we can grow together my channel is really about growth on the second of next month we will be back on the weight loss on Mondays we will start a weight loss challenge and if you stick with me I'm guaranteeing we will be dropping a lot of weight really fast. Within a year, we're going to drop close to 100 pounds. So, if you're interested, join in. We may drop more than 100 pounds if you stick it out. I just wanted to say, be grateful. If you're complaining to God about your weight, are you going for a walk? That's all I want to know. That's all. I know that I've told the Lord, God, please help me lose this weight. And I'm the first fat person who will sit up there and eat a cupcake and drink some milk right after I had some God for that. That's not that's not how you lose weight. And God's not going to help me lose weight while I'm putting a cupcake in my face. Come on now. If somebody is hearing this and saying amen right here in the back of the church. <laughs> but I'm saying in all honesty, be grateful for what you already have. If you see things on YouTube and you're wondering where you could find it, hey, most YouTubers are really nice. Drop a comment in the comment bar. I would love for somebody to give me comments. I would love it, even if they're bad comments. I can't learn if you're not willing to teach me what you like. That's basically how I always feel in life. And... I don't know if Platinum ever sees this video. She was doing this video on heart candy makeup the other day. And I wanted to tell her. And I didn't put it in the comment box because I'm too shy for that. And I'm really brave on this video by myself. But heart candy has their own website. And yes, Amazon sells it, Walgreens, CVS, or whatever. But they do have their own website. For any of you guys who are always see all these makeup uh, tutorials and makeup looks or whatever... I don't know if you know, but you can go on Amazon, and Amazon has these little grab bags of products. So you'll pay like, let's say less than $40, and you'll get several products from one brand. Uh, they have one for L'Oreal, one Lancome. They have different ones, and it's just like basically a grab bag. So that's another thing, and 
I will be trying to figure out how to get us some discount codes because I, what I'm realizing is that companies don't really give out very many discount codes anymore because usually they give YouTubers free products. So the YouTubers get their free product and then you have to go to that company because they gave them free products so now they're selling you at full price. So I'm hoping that I will figure out how to get a hold of these companies and ask them for discount codes and tell them I'm willing to pay for my product. I don't want anything given to me for free because I feel like I want to earn whatever I get in life. If that makes sense. So, have a nice night wherever you are in the world. And tomorrow, I'll actually look like something when I come on video. Alrighty then, bye.